Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you were affected by the HP Smart App bug, as I posted on last week, where the HP Smart App was being auto-installed on non-HP Windows 10 and 11 PCs, then we may have a possible reason why this was all happening. Now, I'll leave that video down below uh, if you would be interested. But just a quick recap, Microsoft had actually confirmed it was aware of these reports of the Smart App um, automatically getting installed on Windows systems, which was being installed via the Microsoft Store. And it seems now the reason why this was happening is because a bug had caused printers that were installed on different devices to be renamed to and listed as HP LaserJet M1013 to M106. So this is the reason why the smart app was being downloaded and installed because it thought you had an HP printer installed on your device. So if you head over to your Bluetooth and devices page, as an example in Windows 11, printers and scanners, and if you have any printers installed, I don't, but on this page, even if you had any other printers like Epson or Canon, those could be renamed to HP LaserJet M101, M106 as mentioned, be that if it was a physical printer or a virtual printer. Now, a possible reason for this happening, and as reported by Windows Latest, is that HP has recently sent updated metadata to Windows Update, which was initially designed for, obviously, its HP products, but contained the incorrect details. So that's where the bug started this whole issue. And this so-called metadata mix-up caused Windows to misidentify and rename various printers installed on these devices as HP models. So read the fact that Windows thought you had an HP printer installed, and that's why the app was being installed automatically from the Microsoft Store. Now, while printers did continue to work and um, properly, as mentioned, Windows installed the HP Smart Software because of this change. And it also appears to be installed automatically by Windows if a supported printer is detected on the system. So that's the whole reason this issue was taking place. Now, the good news is that, um, first of all, if you are affected and the HP Smart app is being installed, um, what you can do is just right-click on it and click on uninstall, and that will uninstall the app from your system. And also, Microsoft now and HP have confirmed these reports. So the good news is if you are affected, they could release an update to obviously revert uh, this change and this bug in the next couple of days. So as mentioned, your printers are working fine. It's just the name change. Um, the only thing that changes is how they are listed on your printer page. But nonetheless, that's more or less the reason why the smart app was being installed on those affected devices. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.